how do you do that in a moment like that, Kelvin? When you're when you've been, you know, focused and amped for something for four years, it's been motivating. It's been getting you out of bed. It's been pushing you through hard workouts. When you're in a moment like the Olympic final and it means everything to you at that point, like it's a culmination of like, okay, all that stuff I just did, it was for this moment. Now I have this moment. How am I going to react in this moment? Like you, you're in control in a way of what you're physically feeling and thinking at that point in time. So, you know, as a sprinter, you never want to snatch at the water, right? You never want to grab the water. But when, right. when you want something that bad, it's almost a natural instinct to grab at the water, right? Like pull yeah. harder, try harder. So how did you, how were you able to maintain that, that focus of being in the right space to swim as fast as you possibly can while still wanting to kill the guy next to you? You know what I mean? Yeah, uh, I would say failure. I mean, I, I would say that what I learned in 2008 by missing is mm -hmm. what set me up for 12. You know, mm -hmm. there's so many things out there, books that we talk about, about self-help and all these things. But like one of the key things that I love to hear about is failure because failure teaches growth. Me mm -hmm. missing 2008 and swimming trials and me feeling like I set the American record in trials in 2008. I was first, then I got second in semis. And then here I go swimming in, in finals against one of my idols, Gary Hall Jr. Mm. And he's in his bedazzled to hell everlast with the boxing gloves. And I'm like, like, what? What is happening? <laughs> I swim the worst race of my life. Mm. And what was that? Because I was doing exactly what you said. It took me out of my, my swim strategy for that 50 free. Everything that mm -hmm. David told me to do, I did none of it because I was one, distracted, two, trying to, and trying to rev up to try to get mm. to where, like to win. Mm. And when I was not even behind the bottom, in the ready room of that 50 free, and I'm looking around and I see Caesar and I see Flo and I see all, of, I just kept smiling. And it was at that moment, I felt like all the pieces that I needed, I lived it already. Mm. I knew how to swim this 50 freestyle. So I was just excited. One, because I finally got to hear my name, Colin Jones representing Team USA. Mm. But also it was like, I've done this before. Don't rev up. Be in the moment. Stay in your goggles. Don't look. Now, what I will tell you, and I will be honest with you, I did look. <laughs> Out the right side. And I saw I was about a half a stroke ahead of Caesar. So that's why I was like, yeah, I'll touch the wall. And I'm like, yeah, I'll suck it. What? <laughs> <laughs> I completely didn't see lane two and flow out there with yeah. the half a stroke ahead of me. Um, yeah. But yeah, like I, I think, but I think, yes, to your point, like we always want to rev up, rev up, rev up. But I think what got me to even that performance of swimming as well as I did was, was failure and realizing yeah. that like I need to learn from that failure not let it crush me, get up, do it again, get up, do it again, get up, do it 10 more times.